day for both the teams. It's a great day for us as commentators as well. We love to have the opportunity to bring matches of this magnitude to you. And we really don't know what's going to happen, but somebody we know will leave here with a piece of silverware and somebody else will leave here in tears. Yeah. Showpiece event like this, invariably, there is a hero at the end of it. Looking down at those 22 players, I wonder who that might be. Well, we, as a commentary team, are really enjoying positioning ourselves in the stadium. I feel we might get a few touches of the ball with that close. Yeah, I think we could almost take part in the team talk here, Martin, but the fans, they make one heck of a racket. They're some of the best in the world. And living up to their reputation here. Barcelona's line up here. Marc-Andre Testegen starts in goal. Gerard Piquet starts with Samuel Umtiti as the centre-backs. Sergio Roberto starts with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. Luis Suarez is the lone striker today. Umtiti plays with Piquet in central defence. Sergio Roberto starts with Sergio Busquets. Careful with his early challenges. The referees penalised that one. Well, that's going to be the first booking, isn't it, of the match, Alan? Well, early on in matches, quite often referees they don't like to book players, but this ref had no hesitation. Sliding in and uh, taking his part in the game into a, a dangerous territory, really. Well, he's gone to ground, and whenever that happens, you're going to get penalised. Poor challenge. Cross with the corner, only partially away from danger. And shoots! Hit it hard, <laughs> but not very true. Now Messi. Now this is where Leo Messi loves to work in the wide areas. Suarez! First goal in our final today. Oh, didn't he take it? Well, he's got to be delighted to produce on a big stage like that. Well, he knew exactly where the goalkeeper was going, and he just steered it past him into the bottom corner. Yeah, he's a fine finisher, this boy, and uh, never panics. Passes it into that corner. Barcelona with the lead. Coming on strong looking to play their way through now. Modric! There's the equaliser. Well, they needed that, didn't they? It looked like their chins were dropping there for a second. Well, a goal for Real Madrid. It's come in from a long way out, and from that angle, it's not always easy to finish. Defenders caught out by it in the end. Used the power on the delivery, really, and his head guided it home. Oh, he's good at those. He's one of the best headers of all around. And showed it there. And he intercepted. Good position. They've worked this attack very well. Into a quite a dangerous position now. He can put them in front. Modric into the lead in the cup final. Well, it had been tight, but that might just be pivotal. Benzema. Shots on here. Super goalkeeping. It's Cristiano Ronaldo to take the corner. Put the corner in the middle. Barat! The goal is there for the taking. Goal! They lead by two now. Took the chance nicely. And that really has given them much more of a basis for the rest of this match. Typical Barcelona. They can get one back now. Steered in very classily. Oh, what an
important moment this might turn out to be as they strive for a comeback here. Yeah, they look down and out for a time there, but you can see the belief coursing through the veins of those players now. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. Ronaldo! It's in! Fine moment for them. They've got a further grip on the game now. They're two ahead. Well, a goal for Real Madrid. The defenders seem to lose the concentration almost. They saw it coming from a long way out. Well, they are heading quite literally for glory here. Oh, it's a beauty, that. He won't head many better ones this season, I don't think. Oh, he's loving it, the manager. He's seeing his team playing really well, just what he was asking for. Marcelo. Aldo. In towards Bale. And there's the goal! Great power with the header. Excellently placed. Fine goal. Well, it wasn't just about the quality of header. That was good enough, but the movement that allowed him to find that space, that was the good bit. That was a truly fabulous goal. It's come in from a long way out, and from that angle, it's not always easy to finish. Defenders caught out by it in the end. Well, full marks for the way he lost his marker there. Good movement in the box. Here's Isco. Well, there is the final whistle, and that confirms what we've been knowing for some time, that they are the champions. Alan. Yeah, absolute joy amongst those players. They've worked long and hard, haven't they, over the course of the last nine months or so, and boy, they deserve it. These are special moments for a very successful team. Congratulations to them. Wonderful scenes of joy here, and no wonder they're milking the moment. Want to make absolutely the most of this. Well, they're a proper team, aren't they? They've stuck together, defended really well in this competition, and snatched the goals at the uh, vital time. So, fully deserved winners. There they go. They are the champions. Anticipation, so much for the supporters to enjoy for their day out. The players will only remember it if they win. That's true. It's been a fascinating tournament, a lot of good play, and I just hope this final lives up to that track record. This is the Real Madrid lineup. Taylor Navas in goal. Rafael Varane starts with Sergio Ramos as the centre backs. Tony Kroos starts with Luka Modric in the centre of the park. Karim Benzema is the lone striker today. If Real Madrid come calling to any top player in any other club in any other country in the world, the answer is usually yes, please, isn't it? Difficult, almost impossible to turn them down to pull on that white kit. What an honour. So much excitement in the stadium, he can reach out and touch it almost. And El Clasico now is underway. Ivan Rakitic, Dembele, chance to cross it. They were aiming for Coutinho with the cross. He's cut that. Messi, first goal 
was so important in the cup final and they've got it. Yeah, they've been playing well too. Hey, they get a second. So a real captain's contribution here with a fine goal. Was a good goal and it came at a crucial time, I think, for his side. Your captain's input there. Showing his frustrations, the manager, I'm sure he'd love to be out there playing himself, but he can't, and his Barcelona team are losing now. It's Barcelona with the lead. Now, this is an interesting attack. Bruno Messi! That's the old one, too. So quick, one after the other. He took it with great aplomb, I'm sure getting the first goal gave him the confidence to grab the second chance here. Another angle on it here. The defender's done very well there to stop the cross. Here's Casemiro. Treading it through. He's in. Could pull one back here. Well, that could be an important moment. That would have got them right back in the match. Well, they hadn't had too many chances, and uh, I think that miss could cost them in this game. Now it's Usman Dembele. He's very confident with the ball at his feet, looking for Coutinho in the centre. And the header scores! Well, for all of you who love seeing headed goals, I do, for sure, I know Alan does. What a good example this was. Well, I've always been an admirer of good headers. And this was certainly one of those, a thumping effort. A Barcelona have put the ball in the net. Well, it's come in from a long way out, and from that angle, it's not always easy to finish. Defenders caught out by it in the end. Oh, it's a brilliant header. Dembele. Now, this is an interesting attack. And Barcelona have got a penalty. Yes, it is red. Well, sometimes as a ref, you simply have no choice, and that was one of those times. You see what he was trying to do, Alan, with that slide challenge, but it's definitely a foul. Yeah, I think so, and it was a poor tackle, it was badly timed. saying that uh, things come in threes they've come in threes for him a hat-trick not just three goals but he's played really well his overall game has been top class today but one team really on the their end, game today was misleading we've got a change at the back and goodness me he's played so well hasn't it and whether there's just a slight problem they're going to protect him for the next game we wouldn't blame them if that was the case um, but he's had a wonderful game. Yeah, he's one of those defenders that can make the game look easy with his anticipation. He's got a bit it's of pace about ruined. him as well. But he steps up to the mark yet again. Wonderful. He's not really away from the threat here. The shot's on. It's Modric. Well, that just shimmers with quality, doesn't it? Modric, what a take. And here he was, faced by the goalkeeper. That was the challenge. In you go. Easy as you like. It looks easy, doesn't it? But I can tell you it's not. You have to be at the top of your game to try it and to convert it. Mustn't give it away now. In comes the challenge. Well, there is the final whistle, and that confirms what we've been knowing for some time, that they are the champions. Alan. Yeah, absolute joy amongst those players. They've worked long and hard, haven't they, over the course of the last nine months or so, and boy, they deserve it. These are special moments for a very successful team. Congratulations to them.
wonderful scenes of joy here and no wonder they're milking the moment they want to make absolutely the most of this well they're a proper team aren't they they've stuck together defended really well in this competition and snatched the goals at the uh, vital time so fully deserved winners there they go they are the champions